how to use your Payoneer account. That is what I will be covering in this video. So of course, first you will need to actually create your account and log into the website or app. Then once you've done that, you will come here in the home dashboard. Then here you can immediately see your balances. So I have zero dollars, zero euros and zero British pounds. Then below that right here, you can see all of your transactions. If you've just created your account, of course, it won't show any. You can see your latest transactions, so the one you've already done, and the upcoming ones that are currently planned. Now here in the left tab, you have eight different sections. Currently, we are in the home tab. Now let's click on get paid. So here you have your receiving accounts and you can request a payment. Let's first click on request a payment. So it says request payment ready to send payment requests to your international business clients. How do you collect payments from clients today? Either select by billing them directly or via a marketplace platform. So just fill this in. Okay, so now you will need to provide some details. Your business profile, a government issued photo ID, a business details questionnaire, and an address verification. Go ahead and submit all of these, and then you will be able to request a payment and actively use your Payoneer account. Now let's go back and click on receiving accounts. So here you have your approved accounts and your pending accounts. So you have your Eurozone account, I have it right here, but you can also request an, another account. So click on next, and the account is actually based on the country slash currency. So for example, if you want to do Japan, then you need to click right here. Then click on next. Then here you are requesting receiving accounts for the countries listed below, Japan. So click on submit request. So now here you again need to follow these steps, a government issued photo ID and the business details questionnaire. You only have to do this once, if you've already done this you won't need to do it again. Then if your requesting account has been approved you can see it right here and you can start using it. Now let's go to the next section, that's called pay. So here you have four different options, pay to a recipient's Payoneer account, pay to a recipient's bank account, pay an Amazon advertising invoice or pay VAT. So for example, if the person you are trying to pay has a Payoneer account, click on this. If you want to send money to their bank account, click on this. If you want to pay an Amazon advertising invoice, then you want to click on this. And if you want to pay VAT, click on this. So for example, if the person has a Payoneer account, you will see this. Send business payments to other Payoneer customers fast and for free. To start sending payments, receive 500 USD to your Payoneer account. So before you can actually send money, you need to receive money. So then you can actually send it to other people. Now let's go to Payoneer cards. Here you can request a Payoneer card. So as you can see, to order a Payoneer card, receive payments of at least 100 US dollars or the equivalent in a different currency to your account in a six month period. So then you can actually request the Payoneer account. So you can click on learn more if you want to see some more stuff. So as you can see, it is a MasterCard and pay for services or expenses anywhere MasterCard is accepted. Save big on withdrawal and conversion fees and it's available in US dollars, euros, British pounds and Canadian dollars. So now let's go to the next section, withdrawal and transfer. Now here, if you have money in your Payoneer account, you can withdraw it to your bank. If you want to add your bank account, you can click on manage bank accounts. Then we can also convert currencies. So for example, in the home screen right here, if you would have $100 and you want to have something like 90 euros and you want to transfer that to that, go here to the withdraw and transfer, click convert currencies. And then here select the dollars then euros and then do the amount that you want to transfer. I don't have any in my account, so I cannot do this right now. So let's go back. Now let's click on account activity in the left tab right here. Under account activity, you can see your transactions, payment requests that you have sent, and under reports and statements, you can see your monthly statement and letter of good standing. Right here under transactions, you can see all of the transactions you have made. 
Now let's go back here. You can see the payment requests you have sent and you can see current updates. For example, if it is paid, if it is still pending or whatever. Then let's click on bank accounts. Now here you can add your bank accounts for withdrawal. You can add your receiving accounts and you can add your recipient's bank accounts. So if you want to add your own bank account to withdrawal from Payoneer, go ahead and click here and then add in your bank account. Then here under receiving accounts, we already covered this under get paid. And then for the recipient bank account here, you can add your client's bank account. So if you are sending money to a bank account, you can add a bank account right here. Then under business network right here, you can see the companies you work with, business applications, and you can refer a friend. So if you want to earn a referral bonus, click right here and refer a friend. Want to earn rewards for referring friends to Payoneer? Start using Payoneer and then earn more by bringing your friends and business colleagues. Once you receive funds to your Payoneer account, you'll be able to start referring and earning rewards. So as you can see in multiple of these things that you can do, you first need to receive some funds into your account. So it's very important to start receiving money. Now let's go back. Here on the companies you work with, you can for example add Fiverr if you are getting paid from Fiverr. Now let's go back. Here on their business applications, it will take you to this link right here and you can see their partner network. So here you can actually get discounts on some of these options right here. For example, eToro, Monobank or any of these other ones that you want to use. You can also select an industry and category. Now let's close this tab. Here when you click on your account and settings, you have a few more options. Profile settings, notification settings, security settings, language, users and verification center. So let's click on security settings. Right here you can change your password, security questions, edit your two-step verification. This is very safe to add to your account. And you can add trusted beneficiaries for two-step verification. Now let's go back to settings and go to profile settings. Right here you can edit your name and email and your address and also your phone number. So let's go back again. Then under notification settings you can select which notifications you would like to receive from Payoneer and which ones you would not like to receive. Then go to the home screen. Now when somebody sends you money for example in dollars to one of your receiving accounts or euros to one of your receiving accounts you will see the amount they have sent right here in the home screen. And then if you want to withdraw that money very easily, just click on the three dots right here and then click on withdraw. Then you can withdraw it to your bank account and it shows right here which bank account you are currently withdrawing it to. Then select the balance you want to withdraw from. So for example, Euro, as you can see my balance is zero euros, so I cannot withdraw any of this. But if you have, for example, 50 euros and you add the 50 euros right here on the uh, amount to withdraw and then click on review and then you can actually finalize it. So that is how you can use your Payoneer account to get paid, pay people, change your settings, convert currencies, withdraw to your bank, send to a bank, send to a different Payoneer account and do a bunch more useful stuff. If this video was helpful to you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.